go. I'm here just to make a quick, easy, beginner. Very beginner. I'm not even that deep into the game myself. But I was watching Sajim's video right now about how he was going into Rivals 2 and how important. And it was about how new player guides are super important. And I mean, this has one, but it's kind of very bare bones. So this tutorial is going to be for people who have never played a platform fighter in their life. No smash like Sajim, because I saw that video. Here we go. I think the first thing people should do in this game is go in training, hit right here, whatever this button is going to say Y, whatever it says for you, and change your controls, and then hit customize controls. If you don't like the control scheme, this is this is where you change it. It's so... Because I changed it to... Because jump was like on Y for me. And so I just changed it to A. I changed it to something that feels more intuitive to me and this is really important right stick to attack is really good but it's you can also change it to strong it's just personal preference and i'm not going to go into i'm not going to go into anything complicated like wave dashing anything like that or character things either i forgot to say this when i was making the tutorial i completely forgot didn't explain the objective of the game it's just like it's a fighting game it's like any other fighting game your objective is to beat up the other player and but it's not like a traditional fighting game where the HP bar, you see HP bars at the top go down and you're trying to get them low. In this game, you're doing the opposite. You're trying to get them higher. So the game works in percents. So he's 7%, 11%. You see he's not taking that much knockback, but just to give you the basic, the more percent you have, the more knockback you'll get. You can see that. So now you'll see that like moves are doing more knockback. If I do my up tilt, you see it's doing more doing more it's just doing more and more as more as I do it and eventually when you get them to high enough percent you're gonna want to knock them out of the stage off the screen any strong move you have or any type of combo you will end up learning once you get them high enough you can just hit them with a nice strong attack and you knock them out of the stage and that's how you win you gotta just do that three times very basic I know I'm talking to like a baby but I think that's the point so first obviously left frame movement this game has a full hop and a short hop. If you hold down, see that? We jump in all the way, but if you tap it, you get a little fall. You get me, you get a little jump. Like that, boom. This is, you do have fast falling in this game, if like you're familiar with Smash, but if you've never played a platform fighter, this is just like a way to get down faster. It's at the peak of your jump. That's when you can press down immediately. If you're just brand new, you don't need to worry too much about this yet. It's more, it's more used later on when you play the game a little more, but you don't need to worry. But it's nice to know that you have that there. So definitely something that you should keep in mind that you have. Obviously you got your three jabs. Some characters will have rapid jabs where you can keep spamming. So you can hit one, two, three, and then keep spamming it like that. And let's see, Loxodonts, this is his jab. Look, see how it's only two? If I keep spamming it, nothing happens. Each character has their grounded moves and their area moves. You really want to set your, if you're playing on a controller like this, you want to set your right stick to tilt attacks because that's the best way you can get tilt attacks. Because you can do the like where you slightly hold up and then press a button, but it's just, that, that doesn't feel good to me. So you can, it's just whatever you want, but you can do those two ways. So that's one grounded moves. So you can do like your up tilt, which is like slightly holding it up and pressing a button, or you can just press your right stick up. So you can do forward a little bit, and you're gonna do an attack like that. Backwards, same thing, and you could do it your down tilt attack as well. And in the air, you don't have anything tilt. You just have your forward. If you hold forward and attack, you do that. Backwards, down, up, all directions. All directions have an attack basically. This game does have dash attacks as well. So if you're sprinting, there's um walking like this, right? But if you if you see this little dash. You're always sprinting and if you're sprinting you're always gonna hit this sometimes you're gonna try sprinting and doing a forward attack like a forward tilt and you might get this so you just have to make sure you let go and then do the tilt this is actually different from smash and but this is for, remember this story is for people who haven't played smash but in smash you usually hold forward and attack and you get like a smash attack but in this game you don't you actually have a dedicated special button to your strong or smash attacks as you can say and in this game if you just press neutral um, power like your strong attack you just do this it's the same as going forward or backwards no nothing like that you have your down special your down strong attack which is your down smash basically you can charge these all of these you can charge people have different ones maybe like Rano has his where it goes super far away <laughs> look at that and you can hold up as well 
yeah, these strong attacks, pretty powerful kill moves. You know, someone's at the ledge, you catch them rolling in, you just hit that strong attack. But be careful with these because they are very laggy. So if you do on someone's shield, you will get punished for doing that. But those are your strong attacks. But yeah, so you have your attacks and then you have your special attacks, which is like you can go into any direction with your special. So you can go, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say special button. So you can do forward special. There is no backward special though. Your forward and backward special will be the same button. And then you have your up special, which is everyone's mostly, that's mostly everyone's um, recovery option. Same thing with, same thing with locks it down. If you hold up. So yeah, that's what you want to be using to recover if you're like off stage or something like that. Some people can use them in the air like Rano. I'm not really too sure about all the characters. Looks like they can. Yeah, yeah, he can use his stuff in the air as well. So you can use all those in the air as well, all your special attacks. The last offensive option is grab. If they're shielding a lot, you can grab, go up. I'm doing some Sakurai shit right now using two hands to use one controller. But, oops. As I was saying, um, if they're shielding a lot, your attacks, you know, you're going in approaches and they're shielding, just grab them. And you can hit two types of grabs. You can hit your normal attack, like it was like what your jabs and your tilt attacks were. So just like that. Or you can hit your special, which everyone has different ones. So yeah. And then in throws, you have all directions as well. You can do forward throw. You can do up throw. You can do back throw and down throw. So yeah, when you grab someone, you can either press the button, you can either hit your attack button or your special button, and you can go in all directions. And your combo and characters can combo off of it. I'm not gonna talk about that, just basic stuff, remember. <laughs> so these are all the offensive options. So now these are the defensive options. You have your shield. And when you're in shield, don't hold it too long though, because look what happens if you hold it too long. Also, your shield will take damage if they're um, pressing on it. See how it's like a little bit black right there? You have the little black cracks. Let's see if he attacks my shield. It does more damage. Actually, I don't even know. And when, and when you're shielding, if you can roll left, right. And when you're doing these left and right rolls, you are completely invincible. So you can do that whenever you want. And when you're shielding, you can also press down, which is completely invulnerable as well to everything, by the way. Like grab, no matter what. You're completely invulnerable. So yeah, that's the basic defensive option on the ground. Another option is when you're in the air. See, you can air dodge. I don't really see air dodging in this game that much, but it's still very useful. Because if you're off the stage, let's say someone hits you, you can air dodge and double jump still and recover. So it's still very useful. Sometimes people are throwing stuff at you. You can air dodge, up B. It's just really important. To just always know because it's helpful. Yeah, that's just the basic air dodge. You can air dodge in any direction. Diagonal, upwards, down back, down forward, just straight up forward, backwards, down, whatever you want. And so let's say that you're getting shielded and someone's pummeling you. I didn't really know how to do this, but I didn't really know how to break out of grabs. I don't know if you're supposed to just mash. So, and when you're getting grabbed, you're actually, some people don't pummel. They just grab you and then just throw you and then do a combo. But if you do see people going for like a pummel like that, or a um, or they're going for a special, you actually have a way to get out of these grabs, which I actually didn't know because what I'm used to is Smash Ultimate, and when you get grabbed in the game, you just all you do is just spin your your thing in circles. You're just mashing, right? And this game is actually different. So let's say he grabs me. Oh shit. Let's say he grabs me here, and he wants to press pummel, but I press pummel at this. I have to guess that he's gonna do attack at the same time. And not at the same time, but like I can just press it and then I press it. You see that? See how we and it, you see the break? How it says the punch? That's how grabs work in this game. But if he wanted to, because now remember we have the special grab as well, so you can grab me and he can press special, and it's a different thing. So if I if he grabs me, press the special, but I press special. Let's see. Oh shit! So if he grabs me and I press special at the same time, because I'm thinking, oh he's gonna go for a special grab. He's gonna grab me, go for special. You see how the break L looks different different animation on that yeah so there's two different ways to break grabs don't mash your controller like i am but usually people just throw you and i actually didn't know this myself i just learned this literally making this video so i'm glad that i know now 
Um, more defensive options are sometimes you get attacked and you get knocked down. So let's say I get knocked back. Oh. You see how I'm knocked down right there? And you see those green um, spikes around me? That means I didn't press my shield button in time. So when you land, you want to recover. And so you can press... And you see how my character is still laying down right now? If I press my shield, he's just going to just get up. And you're going to see him flash white. Which meaning he's invincible for a little bit. So... From this option right here, if you didn't tech, which is, I'll show you what it, show, what it looks like when you actually press shield as soon as you land. You see, you get the animation immediately. But from here, from this option on the ground, you can press, if you just press up, you don't even have to press shield, but you can press shield. You can just press up and he'll stand up, or you can press, you see he's laying down right here. You can just press backwards, you tech roll backwards, invincible. When you land on the ground, you can press forward as well. If you just press down, you'll just get the same. You don't get anything. But but let's say you did tech it. So if you want to tech it and not get those green spikes around you, that green flash, you want to make sure you're pressing it and going left, right, or just pressing it normally. So this is what just happens when you press it normally. Okay. And this is what happens when you press it at the exact same time, but press backwards. Oh, shit. So now we're at the percent. Let's see. See how I held back? I, I'm just holding back and pressing shield, and he's immediately rolling back. And you can do it the same way forwards. There you go. Jeez, that was really hard to get, because it's so hard to do with two controllers. But if you just press up and shield, it's the same concept. You're just going to... If you're going to... You don't have to do up and shield. You can just tap shield, and that's the same result as holding up and shield. I forgot some knocked, getting knocked down um, variations. If you don't want... If you, this happens, you're in this scenario... You didn't tech it, which is just pressing shield when you land, and you're knocked down, and you see someone coming up to you. You can press your normal attack, which, and it'll just get them away. You can't land with this. Like, let's say you can't time it perfectly. It doesn't work like that with this. Like, yeah, you can't land and press it. So you have to make, like, if that option happens when you actually get knocked down and you didn't recover in time. And you can also press your special button, which is, and you get a different um, version of it. And everyone's is different. Rando is just up. He doesn't even get an attack. And you just get his bubble. But yeah, so you just want to test both out on your character, whoever you're playing. And so yeah, when you're on the contrary, when you're on attack, you c if you, if they're going for that option, that getting up attack, you just have to run up and just press shield on it. And it's your turn again. So yeah, those are the... Those are all the get up recoveries from getting knocked down like that. So those are defensive options in this game. One that I didn't know is everyone has a parry. And look, this is all universal. You have to, it's kind of, you do have to time it perfect. Because, like, if I'm late, if I press it, and he's, but I have to do it, if I press these two buttons at the same time, look, I get the perfect parry. And then you can act out of it immediately. It usually puts them in this weird hit stun animation. I don't know why it's not doing it. But, yeah, that's what, that's what that is. But you have to be very careful because you're very laggy. Look, I'm, like, pressing it, and look at my shield. It's very laggy. So if someone's, you see someone spamming you, you want to press this at the same exact time that they're landing, you just have to time a little bit because you can't press it and then them hit you. So you have to time it like that. It's pretty generous though. Like, Actually, it's not. So yeah, you just have to time it. And that's the last defensive option that I can think of right now. All those defensive options you're going to have to use in this game. Now I'm going to talk about recovering to the actual stage because there's a few options actually. So this is in the case that you get knocked off. So if you double jump, you can double jump up B. We went over a little bit earlier. If you see this, I mean, if you see me up B, you see how that um, I'm actually invulnerable. But yeah, you see I turn white. And from here, you have options to get up. I'm not going to go over crazy options. I'm just going to go over the basic ones. So you can hold up, which just sends you up. And if you want to just drop off the ledge, because sometimes... What like people like to do is you like to jump back and land and go forward with an attack. You see like that? And if you hold right, he just gets up immediately. There's also get up attacks. So if let's say he's up here, I can if he's just sitting here just pressing some moves on me, I can just press attack and I'll get him out. But these are unsafe, so be careful because they can't shield them. So just change up your um, get ups um, every single time. And then you have your special one as well. So I didn't know you can um, have an input reader. But now I have it at the bottoms for you. Sorry. 
And also, you're the last option that is not an attack is if you just press shield, he rolls onto stage. Like that. And that's not pressing anything, you just press it and he'll just roll onto stage immediately. Some basic smash stuff. And, uh, and also on another part of recovering, so you have that up B, but you can also double jump off the wall. And, but double jump is really easy. You just hold towards the wall and you just press jump. So they say you get hit, but not that far and you're pretty close to the stage. You can just go to it uh, and then jump off. You can keep your double jump too. You can keep your double jump. You see how I wall jumped and kept my double jump? So let's say you're out here. You could double jump, air dodge, jump to the wall, jump off the wall and up B. Everyone can wall jump, even this big elephant. I know this wall jumping in like ultimate is only character specific. But yeah, everyone can wall jump. Absolutely everyone can wall jump. So keep that in mind when you're recovering. So if someone's on the ledge like this, and you see that someone's on the ledge and you up B, and you see that your um, up B is not snapping to the ledge how it should, and you're not carrying the ledge, it's because they're on the ledge actually. So if you're wondering why didn't he grab the ledge, it's because he's on it. And there's, People do that intentional later on when you play the game more. But yeah, that's just a very, like, to give you a basic understanding of why that's happening, it's just because he's on there. And people are going to try to manipulate their um, invincibility frames to make sure that you don't hit them while they're on that ledge. So they're going to get up while you're up being, so you're they're invincible, and you don't snap to the ledge. So that's why maybe you'll see sometimes why your up beat isn't actually working how it's supposed to. The game does have some other complicated mechanics, um, which is like floor hugging, but I'm not going to go too into it. I'll just go really fast. But you're going to sometimes when you're playing, you're going to see these arrows, which shows them which way they're holding when they're getting attacked. But yeah, so they're doing that so they can act out of it immediately. But yeah, that's what that means. And that's pretty much, I think, what I see as very basic if you've never played a platform fighter, like I was saying, Sagem was trying to play. Sagem was trying to play the game, and there's no, there's nothing. I looked it up too. There is not really anything. Instead, it catered more towards melee players. So I really wanted this to be a tutorial for people who have never touched a platform fighter in their life at all. Those are all the basic mechanics. I don't think I need to do a basic on each character. Maybe I can if you want. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if I left anything out. I feel like I didn't. Those are like just yeah that's like everything that's basic basic attack stuff basic string basic um defense stuff basic recovery stuff i think hopefully this helps people get into the game because the game teaches you nothing the game is really fun it can get it can get more complicated than just you pressing forward air combos i mean you can try to learn combos but just press buttons and have fun you know if you're very if you're a beginner don't worry about too much about crazy stuff i'm out goodbye at face came on while I was talking. Ah.